Good morning, kids, and good afternoon. This is your teacher, Ruby, and for today's lesson, we're going to talk about combined operations. Again, can we read all together? Combined operations. Okay, when you say combined operations, meaning refers to problems where you need to do more than one operations. Again, let's read. Combined operations refers to problems where you need to do more than one operations. So what are the four basic operations? We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Again, these are the four basic operations. So this time, we're going to learn or to know how to solve the combined operation so we can use this pattern we have p m d a s again p m d a s so p stands for parenthesis and m stands for multiplication d stands for division a addition and s is for subtraction again kids we have p m d a S. So P stands for parenthesis, which means when you have a combined operations, you can multiply or you can first solve what is inside the parenthesis, then proceed to multiplication, then division, addition, and lastly, we have subtraction. So let's see. Let's do this. PMDAS. Let's follow this pattern. Number one, we have 25 plus 5. Close and open parenthesis times 3 minus 13. Again, 25 plus 5 times 3 minus 13. So we have P stands for parenthesis. So this is the first one. 25 plus 5 is equals to 30. Then let's proceed to letter M, which means to multiply. So 30 times 3 is equals to 90, correct? Then let's proceed to letter S, which means subtraction. 90 minus 13 is equals to 77. Therefore, number 1, 77. Next, number 2, we have 19 plus 12 times 2 minus 4 so p there is no parenthesis right so m multiply so 12 times 2 is equals to 24 then let's proceed to letter d there is no division a addition yes we can proceed to addition like 19 plus 24 is equals to 43 then lastly we have s for subtraction 43 minus 4 is equals to correct 39 therefore number 2 the answer is 39 next let's do this and follow this pattern p m d a s so number 3 we have only two combined operation which means addition and division so 42 plus 32 divided by 4 so p there is no parenthesis m there is no div there is no multiplication and d yes we have division so 32 divided by 4 is equals to 8 then let's proceed to letter a which means addition 42 plus 8 is equals to 50 then number 3 50 is the answer. Next, number 4, we have 12 plus 34 plus 2 plus times 2 divided by 2. So P, there is no parenthesis. Multiplication, yes, we have 34 times 2 is equals to 68. Then proceed to division. 68 divided by 2 is equals to 34. Then lastly, we have addition. 12 plus 34 is equals to 46. Therefore, number 4, 46 is the answer.
Do you understand it? So now let's proceed to our last two examples. Let's do this. Number five, we have four plus three times two plus five. M, or rather P, parenthesis. So four plus three is equals to seven. Two plus five is equals to seven, right? So let's proceed to letter M, which means to multiply seven times seven, is equals to 49. Therefore, number 5, the answer is 49. Correct. Let's proceed to number 6, our last example. So, 18 minus 7 times 2. So, 18 minus 7 is equals to 11 times 2 is equals to 22. Do you understand, kids? All you have to do is to follow this pattern. P stands for parenthesis. M, multiplication, D, division, A, addition, S, or subtraction. So kids, get your workbook and open it on page number 52, letter A. You can use your calculator on this activity. Any calculator will do. You can use your phone calculators, okay? So again, please get your workbook and open it on page number 52, letter A. So it says, fill in the blanks correctly. So this is the reason why you need to use your calculator because this is this such number is a big number, okay? So that is the reason why you have to use your calculator and it's okay for this activities only, okay? So number one, we have 305,412 divided by 124 times 114. So first we have the parentheses. So 135 divided by 135,000 and 412 divided by 124 is 2,463 times 114 is equals to 280,782. Correct. One number, two answers. Okay. Let's proceed to number two. 582,699 minus 2,412 times 32. So again, kids, let's first do what is inside the parentheses. So 2,412 times 32 is equals to 77,184. Then let's proceed to, to subtraction. 800, 582,699 minus 77,184 is equals to 505,515. Again, two, two, two answers, okay? Let's proceed to number three. 14,196 times 47 is equals to 66, 667,212 minus or subtract for 45,123. Therefore, number three, 622,089. Do you understand? We have one, two answers in each number. Okay, let's proceed to four, five, and six. Number four, 845,387 minus 536,382 divided by 42 is equal to 12,771. Then subtract this two is equals to 832,616. So next, number 5, 341,250 plus 11,438 is equals to 352,688 divided by 752 is equals to 469. Very good. So next, number six, we have 
121,025 divided by 25 is equals to 36,841 plus 741,103 is equals to 77,944. Do you understand? One number, each number has two answers, okay? So let's proceed to 8, 07, 8, and 9. So kids, this time, you can answer it by yourself. Again, you can use your own calculator. It's okay to use your calculator in these activities, okay? All you have to do is to answer 7, 8, 9. Do you understand? And kids, this is our last topic. And next week, we will going to have test study. So please study all our lesson, okay? Thank you, kids. Good luck. Wear your mask and stay home or stay safe. Good luck. Goodbye, kids. And don't forget, this is our last topic. And next, we were going to have test, study test, okay? Good luck. Study hard, kids. Goodbye.